I know I told this guy not to call me again, but I just can't help myself. Hold on. Hello? Hey, Rodney. That you, buddy? Who's that? Steve Shives. Who the hell is that? Steve Shives, Rodney. From YouTube. You called me during my video a few weeks ago. Oh, Jesus Christ. You remember me now? Yeah, I remember you now. What the hell you want? I just wondered if you had any comment on the awesome week Barack Obama just had. How that? <laughs> what do you what do you mean? How you figure he had such a good week? Oh come on. Come on nothing. What'd he do this week? Okay, uh let's go in order. First, he released his long form birth certificate. Yeah, right. He didn't release his long-form birth certificate? If you say so, Mike. Rodney, I don't get it. You guys have been demanding to see that long-form birth certificate for like three years. He finally shows it off, and it means absolutely nothing to you. I've seen on WorldNet Daily that the damn thing is a forgery. And you believe that? Well, shit, yeah, I believe it. They got on there about the different layers and all that shit, how they change a bunch of shit on it. Do you even know what layers are, Rodney? Do you know what they are, smart ass? Okay, so the birth certificate you've been waiting to see since before Obama was elected is a forgery. Prove it ain't one. What if the birth certificate had confirmed everything you've ever accused him of? Say what? What if somehow Obama's birth certificate had proven he was born in Kenya? Would you still dismiss it as a forgery? Well, hell no, I wouldn't. Why? Because it wouldn't be no forgery. Moving on, uh, what about the White House Correspondents' Dinner Saturday night? Did you see any of that? The what? The White House Correspondents' Dinner. Look, man, I don't watch no shit like that. I got places to go people see on Saturday night, man. So you didn't see Obama come out to Hulk Hogan's old theme music or make fun of Donald Trump right to his face? No, I did not. Too bad you missed it. It was pretty cool. I was Hulk Hogan and that piece of shit come out to my music. I'd go straight up to the White House and hang his fucking neck. And then come poop from a tree. You'd hang him from a... Out to dry. Hang him out to dry. That... African-American uh, gentleman, what I he see. is, I would. Uh, finally, what did you and think? He went down safely after he had learned to error his ways and sent him off very much alive to think on what he done. Okay, that's still... Anyway, uh, what about the big announcement Sunday night? American operatives found and killed Osama bin Laden. Yeah, so? So? I mean, great. What's it got to do with Obama? Uh, he's the president. The agents who killed bin Laden were acting under his direct orders. Uh, he personally ordered the strike in which bin Laden was killed. And now he takes all the credit. Did you see the speech last night? He gave credit to the American operatives who actually carried out the operation. Uh, he only took responsibility for giving the orders to find him and to move in once they found him. I'm giving him the credit. Y'all can give credit to George W. Bush. He's the one who sent our boys over there to get him in the first place. You think George W. Bush, who's been out of office for over two years, deserves more credit than Barack Obama? Hell yes, I do. Bush done ordered him to kill Ben Laden like ten years ago or something, man. So, George Bush ordered people to kill Bin Laden, and they've just been sweeping the Middle East nonstop looking for him ever since. That's how you imagine it? That's right. And now, because they found him, Bush deserves the credit, not Obama, because killing bin Laden was Bush's idea first. Now you're talking like someone who knows shit about shit. Thanks. Uh, of course, by your rationale, the guy who really deserves credit is Bill Clinton, because uh, he ordered the killing of bin Laden way before Bush did. In fact, before 9-11 even. Rodney? Don't count, though. Why not? Uh, why does it count when George Bush did it, but not when Bill Clinton did it? He's probably coked up when he's dead. Rodney? Yeah. Always a pleasure. Don't forget it, one nation under God, you fucking ass.